Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Monday and I hope this is the start of a great week for all of you. Well today as you can see we're going to be working on Green Mountain Green Lake and I've been working up here in this part. I did get this from AliExpress. I don't know if it was a month ago or two months ago. But the color we're using today is 3836. Three, three, we'll set it backwards. Yeah. So, how are we doing? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're back to working again. Back to working again today. We'll see. It'll probably be slow and boring. But, you know, we can't win. It's either slow or boring. Slow, boring, or so fast that, you know, you never knew you were there. What can I say? Yeah. Fun times to be had by all. Let me pull you in so you can see what is going on. I will try to get you there. There we go. Yeah, I worked on this a little bit yesterday. Just kind of adding colors here and there. You can see my little fuzz pieces there. Trying to get the uh, purples. And I did it at um, 550 purple. And then this darker color here. And then I started on this color. So, yeah. Not whole bunches of progress. Just took a strand and... Did it until it ended and then got another color. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yesterday, I did go run to the store. Not sure what it was I started out for, but yeah. Then I came back. And... Ended up taking a two and a half hour nap. Wasn't tired at all. And still went to bed before two. So, yay. Fun times to be had by all. But I thought I'd just work on this for a while. I sat in my rocking chair until I couldn't sit there anymore. And sat on the couch some. Stitched on this one. I don't know what else I was stitching on. I don't know. I picked up the tiger for a little bit. And there was something else. Oh, I got out one of those. Um, oh, well, it is. It's called pattern. Not sampler. But it's huge. Ginormous. I have no idea. It's by Joyce Sunday. But it was called pattern. But it looks like a sampler, and it was a 14 count. I almost said 11 count. It's 14 count. And I got a little bit of time in on that. Just kind of here, there, everywhere. Not, you know. There was something. Oh, the cats. I worked on the cats. The one that says you can't have too many cats or something like that. Okay, I got this thing all folded up because, yeah, any other way was just not happening here. So I'll have to adjust it, but it won't go very far. It's too heavy. So, let's see, what else did I work on? I can't even remember. If I put it, I don't know if I think I worked on that. Uh, the birds... With the turquoise. We got the birds with the turquoise. And we got the birds with the lilacs. There's also not to be confused. By the birds and lilacs. 14 count that I got. Got what? Four or five years ago. From uh, 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 Amazon. Yeah, no. I know where it's at though. I passed it up three times. On the way looking for something else. So... Yeah, yay, 
fun times to be had by all. So we didn't go looking for anything. I just didn't do too much yesterday. Sat in my chair. Stitched. Yeah, I'm ready to go back to work because I need something to do, you know? You know, after a while, it just, it gets kind of boring. So I got to get up and go do something. The weather was nice until, oh, about time I got back from the grocery store, about 2.30, it started clouding up. And I laid down, and I have no idea if it rained while I was, where's my thing? Uh, while I was asleep or not, I have no idea. So, yeah, I think this is going to be beautiful. I think they're all going to be beautiful. Yeah. If we can just get them stitched. But this is kind of an easy, relaxing stitch. You can see all the symbols. And it's just lovely. I wanted to stitch on that Mediterranean one and the uh, colorful town. I noticed that somebody else I watch, I think her name is Virginie. Like Virginia, but it's like Virginie. That kind of thing. But she's from France. She got that colorful town in an 11 count. And I've never seen it in an 11, in an 11 count. So I thought that was different. I mean, it, it's beautiful canvas. And she's just working right along on it. So, yeah. So we got some 11 counts in our... In my repertoire here and I've got lots of 14 count stuff oh come on really seriously come on everybody shift now I got to make sure all the threads are down holy cow what happened here I love when that happens it's just so special special and spectacular but we got it fixed. Almost. Almost. All the thread. I just run my fingernail over it and it kind of straightens everybody out. Sometimes it needs that. I have no idea what happened. Do you? Oh my goodness. Where am I? Okay, I'm trying to make sure you're all in frame here. Oop, can't go back that way. Watched a little YouTube. Not so much Netflix, just kind of giving Netflix a, a break for a little bit. Been watching all different kinds of videos and stuff on YouTube. And bef before I forget, I have a picture right here that I got from, hang on. All right, I am back from Lily Lord. Beautiful picture. She finished the Lord's Supper. Good job. Yeah, I've been looking for a decent one for years. She said she got that kit, and I believe it was a dimensions kit, 20 years ago. And it took her 10 weeks to uh, finish it. So I think she just finished it. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. I'm not real sure, but good gravy. It, it's huge. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. Good job. So the, that sent me down a rabbit path. Thank you, Lily. Looking for one, and I couldn't find a kit that I liked where I looked, so I'll just keep looking. I did find one, but it was a diamond painting, and yeah. But great job, Lily. Good job. It, it's just, just stunning when you see it all done. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Uh, oops, we're going to have to end this thread off again. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. It's starting to fill in. I started when I picked this up. I evidently had the brown color out here. And I just went back and forth. I'm like, I want to use a color. I want to use a color. So I just ended it off with the thread all back. 
and here we are. So, which started me down this path. Yeah, this is kind of awkward to... Oh, of course, I buried my... Oh, I thought I buried my scissors. There's like 40 feet of fabric over here on the other side. All... Really? All, uh, wadded up over here, so... It's not... Wow. And this, you know, God forbid you move this thing. Holy cow. We'll just start right here where we can reach. Oh my goodness. So this is quite relaxing to stitch on. Just a beautiful canvas. Now I can hardly wait for the stuff that I ordered from AliExpress once again to get here. Here we go again. But, like I said, they probably won't be here until the end of... I think it was the 20... Well, they said. Yeah, you can count five days beyond what they said. The 23rd of September. So, it'll get here. It'll be my birthday present to me. So. Yay. Anybody doing anything fun this week? <clears throat> going on any trips or anything since the weather is starting to get a little cooler. You know, it gets a little cooler a little bit by a little bit around here. I mean, it's been 48 degrees in the morning. I figured that out, you know. If it dropped 13 degrees, it'd be at freezing. What? It's September. No. I'm not ready to drive around in snow and slush. What happened to fall? Can we just have fall for a little bit? You know, maybe through October. Something nice. Something normal. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh goodness gracious. Oh. <sighs> Kind of a same old, same old week, I think. At least work is spinning down. I'm just, I'm so tired of being on point, you know, for eight hours. It just, it gets to, it wears you down after a while. I don't know how them girls do it on the weekend. I really, really don't. So... But it, it's just kind of nice and relaxing. Sit there, watch the station, and listen to my ebook, and just kind of relax, take the little chores, you know, in a relaxing manner instead of, okay, there's nobody here, run. Yeah, yeah, that's the way that goes. Usually in the summer, you know, get five things done and then ten people show up. Yeah, so it's not quite like that. So you can kind of take your time. And soon, I don't know when I say that, but we'll call it sooner or later. They will be closing at 9. I don't know when that'll be. You know, so we'll see. That's always nice. I can go to the grocery store after work if I have to. I usually don't have to. Just every once in a while I was mainly going to uh, see my daughter who was working there at the grocery store, <clears throat> you know, after work. But, yeah, no, had no real reason to be there every once in a while. I'd pick something out, take home to have for dinner or something, but... Since she's no longer at the grocery store, I don't have to do that, so. And I try to get my stuff done ahead of time, just so I'm not out and running around. Oh, yesterday. Oh, my gosh, y'all would have laughed. So, I went to the grocery store, I told you, right? You're going to laugh. And I got home, 
and I got my stuff out of the car. Now, whoops, hang on. And I was getting ready to shut the door. Well, my keychain has, let's call it, two parts to it. But, I mean, it's not like they come apart. So, one part is the important part that I use to drive and lock the house and blah, blah, blah. Important keys. So, I went to shut the door. And it's all on a carabiner that's about that big. And they're on separate hoops, you know, on the, the carabiner. Went to shut the door, and I shut my keys in the door. So I put all the groceries down. I'm thinking, oh, God, what do I do? I'm trying to pull it out. It wouldn't come out. I've never done this before. I'll have to call my daughter. Have to call her. Have to call her. Get the phone halfway out, and I look up, and the car key and the house key were sticking out of the door. Thought, you know, I can do this. So I put the phone back. Not time for panicking. Put the phone back. Took the keys off the chain. Let's just lose this. It's just in my way. Um, took the keys off the chain that had the car keys and unlocked the door. Okay. Whoops, there goes the scissors. I knew it was going to happen. So, I unlock the door, I get the keys out, and now I have two sets of keys. I grab the groceries again, I lock the car door again, and shut the door. Everything's fine. Walk up the stairs, and I'm going to put the, the keys into the lock. And the other set falls between the porch and the house. Because the porch is not attached to the house, you know, because it's a trailer, so it's just not built in. Okay, so I put the groceries down again. I leave the keys that open the door in the lock. Then I have to walk through. There's We have tumbleweeds all the time, right? So there's like this little, like here's the stairs. And there's this little space in between where the stairs are and the wall of the trailer, right? So I'm walk through there and I'm get everything out of the way because there's potting dirt and a rock and something else down there. I don't know. Oh, this snow shovel. Move all that crap, tromping all over these tumbleweeds in my flip-flops, no doubt. And I'm looking on the ground. I don't see it. I'm really starting to panic, you know. I look and there's a space, I swear, it was no bigger than a half an inch. In between... There's just like a little tiny ledge. Well, they fell into that groove. I'm like, well, crap. Now I get a stick. It sticks only about that big. Well, that didn't work. I get a bigger stick. No, that didn't work. And so finally, I just stuck my hand up there and shoved the keys out. Seriously? Seriously? I came inside. I felt like I needed a drink. But I don't drink that much. So, Yeah. But I sure did have a big gulp of Coke. Coca-Cola. Yeah, no, we don't do those things either. Sorry, not happening in this house. So, yeah. So, it was an adventure. So, I finally just undid all the groceries. Yeah. And went and sat down. I was like, oh my goodness, that was so close. I called my daughter and I said, well, I almost needed you. Not once, but twice. She's like, what? What now? <laughs> no, she wasn't that bad. She's like, I'm in the middle of something. I'm like, well, I really didn't need you. I got it taken care of. I fixed it myself. She was like, oh good, what happened? And then I told her and she just laughed. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was hilarious. Just hilarious. And to make, you know, insult to injury, there were people in the trailer, like, right across from me. They're all out barbecuing, probably having a good show on me, trying to get those keys out of there. I was like, oh, just go in the house, Laura. Just go in the house. This is why you stay in on the weekend. Yeah. 
Holy cow. I have adventures when I'm not even expecting adventures. Yeah. Fun times to be had by all. Oh, goodness. Does anybody else have these kind of days? I mean, really. <sighs> kind of all over the place on this stitching, aren't I? I guess I got to go back now and put all that green in. So it might be like one piece. And, of course, finish all that dark brown. Oh, and there's another symbol there. So this is not confettied so far that I know of. It's just a lot of areas, you know, kind of scattered without that make it all come together. I think this is going to be one of those pictures that's going to look really good from a distance. You know, it be like a Monet painting, you know, where it's impressionistic. But I think it'll be beautiful. I love it. I don't know why I don't stitch on it more. I mean, other than the fact that it's huge. And I used it today when I was sitting in my rocking chair. Not today. Yesterday, and I had the air conditioner on. I don't have the air conditioner on yet today. Please, let us not go there. Running it less and less, though. Oh, that's attractive. Oh, I thought it... Well, crud. We'll come back for it. Oh, goodness gracious. Me, oh, my, oh. Did have my... I had pulled out a steak. I don't like to leave them in the freezer either for a very long period of time. I'm sure it was fine, but, you know, eight and ten months just doesn't work. I have found that out. And I get them when they're on sale, the prime rib. And I just shove them in my freezer. Because I like a good steak every once in a while. I know I probably had steak last weekend, but that's fine. Life is hard. You might as well have steak while you can, right? All right, guys. Let me get up here just a few up here at the top. Might as well finish it. Trying to stay in one area, but some days just doesn't work. Come on. All right, I'll just do it like that. So we got most of that crud. Let me back you out. There you go. And it's almost too light. And I think this, no, that's the red symbol. I don't remember what color the green was. Hmm, I did some of it earlier. Maybe, no, it's not that one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just keep hacking away at it. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I sure do appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.